Hi you guys! Um, today I am going to be trying some new makeup for me um, and we will get into it but please subscribe to my channel and we'll get started. Um, so for a primer I got the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Um, this has like rave reviews and people absolutely love it. Um, I tried it out the other day. I didn't think it was that great. Um, you know, its claim is that it's going to uh, blur your pores and give you more of an airbrushed look, but I don't think it really did that for me. Um, I don't have like crazy pores, but they're definitely definitely visible. I have a really big pore um, on the end of my nose. You can see it right there. So. I don't know, I feel like I've used this a couple times and I just keep putting more and more on my face. Um, I'm hoping that it will blur my pores a little bit and it doesn't really, but it was cheap, it was only eight bucks. Um, so definitely an affordable primer and yeah, it, it's all right. Okay, so for foundation, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I've used this before. Um, this is not new to me. I'm in this, well, <laughs> this is the shade Light Beige. Um, I haven't been tanning in a couple of weeks now. Uh, thank you, coronavirus. So this is actually pretty dark for me, but um, I haven't bought a new shade yet. What is new is I picked up these Beauty Bakery sponges. Um, they come six in a pack, and they come in this cute little egg carton. So a little six of them. Beauty Bakery. Um, I got these on sale for Ulta Beauty's 21 Days of Beauty. Um, I think I paid nine dollars for all six sponges. Normally they're eighteen. Um, they're about the same. I'd read the reviews saying that you know the green one was much firmer than the pink one. I think they're fine. Um, they're huge though, and they when you get them wet, like this is the one in the package, and then this is once it's wet, um, it's huge and it's you know the size of my palm. It is much bigger than the Beauty Blender, which I to get in here. Um, under your eye, I do think that um, it's nicer to have a smaller sponge, but well, I'm gonna use the green one to blend my contour and I'm gonna use the pink one to do my foundation. So I'm gonna do my contour first. So I've done this technique for contouring before um, using the Fenty Beauty Match Stick and Truffle. Um, so I'm gonna do this under my foundation So one thing about the e.l.f. primer is that it does not make this glide on quite as easy as my Mary Kay primer does. Um, so it's definitely coming like a little almost like chunky. So hopefully it will blend. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. So I'm going to take this guy. It's wet. And I'm just going to try to smush it up just so that I don't have a harsh line so that the foundation can cover it up. Get my freaking hair out of the way. So again, this technique for contouring your face is supposed to just make it a little bit more natural. What sucks for me is that my psoriasis um, scales, if you will, um, they tend to absorb the color, so I really need to work it in here so that I don't have weird marks. And then, contour away the double chin. Yep. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead with the foundation. I just to put two pumps on my hand and then dot it all over my face. And then I'll go in with that beauty sponge and blend it out. I really need to get a color that actually matches my neck. Um, but I don't know what I wanna try yet for a foundation. If I'm gonna buy a new one, I need to do some research and see what's new and out there that I might like. So I'm just taking this big old egg and bouncing it 
lightly all over my face. Some of the reviews for these said that they um, really absorbed a lot of your makeup, but I have not really had an issue with it at all. I think they do a really nice job and I think they're just the right amount of firm. I really like the Real Techniques sponge too, but I do find those to be a little bit too firm. And a new regular beauty blender is 20 bucks for one sponge. Obviously. What is this here? Um, which is, you know, a ton. Um, and so these are comparable quality, in my opinion, for, I mean, a fraction of the price. Bring the foundation down your neck, especially if it's not the right color, to try to blend it as much as possible. My hair is doing all sorts of crazy things. Um, it's still sort of wet, so I haven't put it up yet. Um, then I blend it always into my hairline again. The psoriasis really makes that necessary for me to do. Um, I have red, dry, almost like scabs is what it looks like and it's gross but it is what it is so that's why we have makeup people cover it up looking pretty good okay then to conceal and highlight I have a new shape shape it's not a new product to me but it is a brand new um, new one of them so this is the applicator this is what I do every time to cover up that psoriasis plaque and to brighten the under eye. Bring it down the nose, Cupid's bow. My sister made a sort of a mocking video um, of me because I was talking to her about shape tape. Um, I'm gonna take the same sponge and blend it out. And she used scotch tape. The quarantine madness had set in apparently, but the video was absolutely hilarious. What is everybody doing to try to stay sane during the quarantine? I am making YouTube videos. I'm playing with makeup. So because the sponge is so big, it is a little bit more challenging to get in the under eye area, but if I you know squeeze it, I can bend it to get in there and it it's fine. It just might take a little bit longer to blend it out than a normal beauty blender would be or a beauty blender. I'm gonna do a little bit more because I can still see the redness right there. Putting your concealer on in a triangle is gonna help lift this area up rather than, you know, some people sometimes say they wanna put their concealer right here. Um, that isn't going to give you the shape that you're looking for. Um, you want to pull this part of your face forward. Um, and that's what we're doing when we're um, highlighting is pulling that forward. And it's going to um, help get rid of that puffy under eye look. And brighten and make you look well rested and all of the good things. All of the reasons we apply makeup. Okay, to set my foundation, I'm going to use this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Pressed Powder in medi shade medium. If I can get it open. 
Um, I've used this all week and I'm still on the fence of whether or not I like it. I'm just gonna take the my hourglass brush and the skinny end and do my under eye. Um, I prefer a loose powder to set my makeup. Um, this, it's it's nice feeling, it's light on the skin. Um, I don't know that it like set, sets my makeup. Um, I don't know if it's just in my head because it's a pressed powder or if I, it just really doesn't do that great of a job, but I can still feel like that sort of, it doesn't like feel dry afterward. I can still feel sort of the wetness of my foundation. So it doesn't really I think help it dry down all of the way. But I feel like if you have really dry skin, um, that this might be nice for that because it really doesn't dry you out. Um, my skin is combination and so, I don't know, it's pretty. I feel like it gives a pretty finish. Um, this is one of the products that I picked up for half price, so thank you Ulta. I love the 21 Days of Beauty sale because you can try things um, maybe that you normally wouldn't in their half price. So um, the color also, I think, I think it does have a little bit of a lighter finish so it's helping even out my super dark foundation compared to my neck i don't know if you guys can see that or not but okay to bronze my face i'm going to go in with my regular bronzer which is becca sunlit bronzer in capri coast I'm just going to go over where i originally um contoured now this bronzer is really pricey i have been searching the internet for a good dupe And I think I found one, um, the reviews um, for Physician's Formula bronzer, butter bronzer, are really good. And I've heard that it's a dupe for this one, so I'm planning on picking that up. And I will test it out and let you guys know, because this is about $38 or $38 for this and the Physician's Formula one, I think it's a $15. Um, and if I can find something comparable for less money, you know, why not? I don't mind investing in face products, though. I mean, it's your face. Um, you, you know, you only have one of it and you show it to the world every day. So good quality face products. I don't mind spending a little bit of extra money on it. But I know that not everybody, you know, wants to or has the ability to buy a lot of high-end makeup. So I'm going to make a conscious effort to purchase a few more drugstore um, items and I can let you know what if they're worth it or if it's better to splurge on the more expensive stuff. Okay, for highlighter, um, I got the Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive. Um, again, picked it up on 21 or Ulta Beauty's 21 Days of Beauty. This is what it looks like. It's a, like a champagne color. Um, and holy crap, you guys, this is one of the most pigmented highlighters I have ever used. So I'm just going to take my tapered brush. And now I like to highlight after I contour and then do brush, blush, brush, blush third. I think it helps blend the two together. Um, and you'll see why that's necessary here. So. Like, holy freaking crap. That is a highlight. Like, that is a blinding highlight. I honestly typically prefer, I think, a little bit more of a natural highlight, but, I mean, this gets the job done. I think I paid 18 for this highlighter. So, you know, it's not cheap. It retails for, I think, 35 then. Um, but, I mean, the pan is pretty big, and as you can see, a little bit goes a long way. Um, it, people compare it to Becca's cult favorite champagne pop. I would say they're comparable. Um, but you can see, like, striping of contour and highlights. So, again, I like to go in with the blush and just really blend the two so that you don't see those you know, distinct stripes. Okay, for blush today, I'm going in with the Hourglass um, Ambient Irid ambient Strobing Lighting Blush in Iridescent Flash. 
sort of this pretty marbly pink color. And y'all know I like my blush, so we're going to really load her up. Okay, so you can see now it's more of a blended. It still looks a little bit, maybe I didn't do the best job of blending. I like the trick I like to do to clean it up a little bit is to take my beauty blender and just with only, you know, leftover foundation, just kind of go and you can kind of make that line more defined. Oh, that's, a little, that's actually a little crazy looking. So we'll just... That's better. Okay, so for eyeshadow today, I'm gonna go in with this Ace Beauty palette in Scarlet Dusk. Um, it is brand new. I just got it in my Boxy Charm box. Um, I just signed up for Boxy Charm, so I think this was the free gift for um, for subscribing. Um, I've never used this brand before, so we'll see how it works together, but. Um, nice variety of pinks and shimmers. Not, you know, I don't normally gravitate to colors this bright, um, but we're going to see how it goes. So I'm going to start with this matte. Ooh, that is not a cute look. This uh, lotus color, the lightest shade, pinky sort of shade, and I'm going to go in with my tapered brush here and just put it in the crease. Ooh, and that is more pink than I was expecting it to be. So what I look for in matte shadows is that they don't skip and that they're not chalky. You really want a silky, buttery matte um, so that it provides a nice even color. All right. I think this palette is ultra affordable. Um, I have to check, but I think I think it's like less than ten dollars for for this um, brand. So definitely a good value if it performs, and we'll see how she does. So far, so good. Okay, I've done both sides. Next, I'm going to go in with this shade Bahamas. More of a pinky magenta shade. I'm going to put this in my crease below where I put the other color. Oh, that's a color. Holy crap. So the pigment on this is actually surprisingly nice. Like, that is a vibrant, full magenta color. I'm definitely going to keep that low on the lid. Okay, next I'm going to go in with Sangria here on the bottom, this more reddish, more muted, deeper color. And I'm going to apply this below, slightly below, and keep this one on the outer third of corner of my eye. And I've been using the same brush the whole time. So it is skipping a little bit. It's applying a little bit patchy. It might just be because I'm using a fluffy brush and I could get a smaller brush that's more concentrated and see if I can get that to blend a little bit better. See how it's not really even? Hmm. I'm gonna take a smaller, more densely bristled brush and see if I can get that. 
I don't need to accent the wrinkles. All right, it's a little bit difficult to blend. Okay, now I'm gonna take the same tapered brush that I was just using and go into the color Nocturnal, which is the darkest shade here. And I'm gonna keep this on the outer third, starting at my lower lash line and working up to the crease. And this color does not have as much pigment as the other ones. So, hopefully it blends and we don't look like we have a black eye here. There is not a lot of fallout in this palette. At all. Okay, now the true test is going to be the shimmer shades. So I'm gonna do first this Aruba color and I'm gonna take a small compact brush. Normally I would wet my brush, but I don't have um, my Fix Plus, Plus nearby. All right, so I'm just gonna press. Oh. Not getting, a, yeah, it's not doing doing much for me with the shimmers. They're a little powdery. Maybe I'll try my finger. Um, it's better with the finger, but. Not great. Gotta use a brush to get into where my finger can't. Okay, it's not terrible. I'm gonna do the same thing with my finger and this Maui shade, this light pink shimmer. With shimmers, you oftentimes get better performance with your finger than you do with a brush. Kind of crazy looking. All right, and then lastly, I'm just gonna do a little touch of the Lotus, which is a pink shimmer. <sighs> Try to blend that on the outer part of my eyelid. That's actually pretty. This is not a look that I would normally rock on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, it's definitely some bright pink, but I'm not going anywhere. Thank you, coronavirus. So, why not? Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my um, Roller Lash Mini Benefit Liner and do a quick wing. My wing on this side was being a little jerk, but they're both done. Um, I tight lined my eyes as well off camera just because it's kind of a weird thing to look at when you're holding a pencil up to your eye. But going in with my Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara, eventually I'll get a new mascara to try, but for now, this stuff is gold. All right, I'm going to do the other side and then do my brows off camera, and I'll be back in a second. 
All right, so my brows and me are fighting. My winged liner and I are fighting. So it is what it is. It ain't always going to be perfect, guys. Um, I am going to do the um, Ofra in the inner corner of my eye. Um, I love it. And it really, like, look at the difference. Makes you look bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I'm going to do a little bit under my brow bone. And then do the other side. I think inner highlight in the inner corner of my eye is my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to exfoliate my lips quick and then we'll do lipstick. Okay, for lipstick today, I'm going to do the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Liquid Lipstick in Dusty Rose. This is my probably all-time favorite lipstick. I wore this um, on my wedding day. It's a really pretty muted pink color. I love the formula of this. I love the applicator of this. If I had a signature color, this would be it. Now, I'm going to let this dry. Um, normally, I'm not a gloss girl. This is a lot of pink. Holy schmoly. But um, I got this Iconic London Lip Plumping Gloss in my BoxyCharm. Um, so I figured we'd give, we'd give it a shot. Just go over the top here. says it's plumping, so normally that means, ooh, tingling. Yep, we're getting a tingling sensation. It's sort of sticking to the lipstick here. It is definitely giving me a tingling sensation. I don't know as far as plumping, if it's working, but we will see. And this is the final look. Hopefully you learned something today. Hopefully you liked it. Um, if you wanted to say hi to Charlie, he's taking a nap right here by me. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.